Hello everyone, Kasim here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to go over my trades for the day. Um, I, I want to be doing more trading videos as well, so I can show you um, like some of the results that I'm getting with my particular trading style. Um, I just don't want it to be about me just doing charts and th um, showing you guys the charts and not actually showing you my trades and showing you what I actually, how I actually make money using the chart so in this video we are going to we are going to look into that today um i'm going to show you my trades for the day and uh we're just going to dive right into it let's get right back to the to the computer screen um without taking too much too much time today was a great day in the market um i made that 200 239 dollars right here 239 dollars in profit for the day um so it was, we had a good day i had a couple of losing trades uh, thirty dollar loss here, sixty dollar loss here, three dollars. Um, then I had a couple of winning trades, which is ninety, a hundred and forty, and um, five dollars. So what I usually like to do with this, uh, with this, you know, uh, videos where I show you my trades is I, I actually like to show you um, the actual transactions, the times, and go to the chart and show you how, um, how I actually place the trade so so you can see I want to be as transparent as possible with what I'm doing here in this channel I believe my what I'm trying to offer uh, to my audience I think it's really really good quality uh, education um, I have a lot to share so please take it take some time to subscribe to the channel you know go check out some of my content I have a lot of content now on this channel so go check it out but without taking too much, too much time, let's get right into this video. Um, so these are the uh, these are um, the profits and loss for the day. That's the PL. Uh, the total was two two thirty two thirty nine. And let's get right into the nuts and bolts here. The main information here is right here. Right. These are these are the list of all the trades that I made for the day. Um, these are the list of all the trades. Um, so in the morning, in the morning, around around 9:41, I uh, did my first trade, and I was losing on the trade, so I got out of it. Around uh, around nine, around around 9:40. Let me see if I can pull up the chart right here. So looking at the chart, around 9:40, right at the bottom here is the time. Around 9:40 was my first trade. I think I must have did a, I did uh, I must have did a, a, a put a put option. I, I bought a put, um, which was around here. Let me put me on this side here. Um, I did a put option. Yeah, it was a put put that I bought, and what happened was the chart just started uh, started going going right up in the morning around that 9 30 area the uh let's see so around 9 40 was my first trade around here and I, I was betting that the stock was going to go down and then uh in the morning it pushed up a little bit as you can see here uh, as you can see in the morning around 9 30 uh around 9 40 which was when which was when i placed the trade yeah, 941 was the first trade um, right there. And what, what happened was I placed the trade I was going to go down here. And the chart ended up pushing pushing up instead of actually going down. So I, I quickly closed it because what I what I do when I when I, what I do when I trade is when I'm wrong on the trade, I'm quick to close the trade as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so I don't lose as much money, you know, so the first trade was basically uh, a loss and then the second trade here These are my the, the, the important trades for the day. Uh, this was the one that I made uh, Good money on so the first trade was around 947 which is right here around 947 and It was a put it was a put option. So I was betting that the stock would go down which is in this case is S SPY S&P 500 and I bought the first contract for seventy nine dollars. That was the first. That was the amount that I paid for the first contra contract. And then, I, um, so that was around nine forty seven. 
right so let's look at the chart here around 9 47 at the bottom here is the time around 9 47 was right on this candle when i saw this when i saw the ema cross over nicely here and then um you can see that this candle touched the vwap touched the the, the middle part of the vwap which indicates that most likely the stock is going to go down um, and then we you see the you see the it was around 945 so it was around around this area so and you see the volume the volume were red if if you look here on the RSI the RSI is pointing downwards and also the uh, momentum indicator was also pointing downwards so that's what I did the first trade that I entered was around here was around this area that was the first trade so I took that all the way down here. Then what I did was I when I saw this pull back, when I saw this pull back, and then I started watching the TT squeeze and start looking at where the momentum is, momentum in the stock, where the momentum is. So it was it's hanging it was hanging around. It was it was hanging around the 20 uh tw uh 25 percent range on the RSI around here. So that indicates an oversold situation. That indicate oversold. But what I did was when I saw this second candle, which was let me look at the time. Let me uh, let me go back on 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 the trades here. So this was so the first trade that I that I talked about was 947. The second trade was around 950, 950, 959. Uh, so basically almost 10 o'clock. So that was the second trade, which was around here. Uh, if you look at the timestamp right at the bottom here, it was around around this area. So what I did again was I, I bought another put option. So at this point, I had two puts put options um, around here. So I bought another put option. So 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 now I have two positions. I have two positions open. So what I did was the first one. The first one that I bought for the first one that I bought for seventy dollars. Um, I, um, right here I ended up selling it I ended up selling it for 200 so I bought it for 70 79 dollars I ended up selling it for 230 230 dollars and uh, the second one that I bought for uh, 100 103 dollars I ended up selling it selling it for 195 so that's what I did um, that's what I did with that trade so the the first the first trade was are you still watching if you are hit the like button hit the subscribe button while you are at it as well it greatly helps the channel it really does help the channel i'm relatively new to youtube so give me a, give me a second to give me some thumbs up and some subscribe button right up here as soon as i saw the ema crossed over and i and the, the actual candle itself touched vwat i um I basically jumped on a put on that and then my second trade was around this area I I um, around this area when I saw saw this uh, consolidation here and I saw that it wasn't breaking that the EMA wasn't breaking up above um, above uh, the EMA the 5 EMA wasn't breaking above the 13 so I'm like okay most likely it's gonna keep on going down and that is exactly what happened it broke down here and I was able to take this whole move this whole move this whole move here was th that whole move there was basically around um, basically was when I made made them uh, made made this money this this trades right here so around the morning times this was the first couple of trades that I made in the morning it was pretty good and then I started not being focused losing money money there uh, let me look at some of the trades that I lost money on so I can show you both sides of the coin um, Both sides of the coin here. So that was the first that was the first trade um, That was the first big win and then I, I had a win here. I had a win here. This was This was uh, I bought this for $71 I ended up selling it for um, $1 uh, $100 then here this was a lost this was a loss let me let's let's look at this this was 
this was around uh, 12 50, basically almost one o'clock this was 12 50, 57 almost one o'clock so let's let's uh, let's take a look at one o'clock area here so we can we can all learn from it 1257 so it was it was around around this area right here so let me get let, let's get this back okay so 1257 it was around yeah it was ar ar around this area oh I remember this so here I thought you see when the EMA crossed over the EMA crossed over I thought most likely what would happen is it's we, we, we've seen the bottom for the day right because usually the way that I the way that I use this chart is when the stock when the stock price when the stock price is below VWAP below this gray line I usually just trade the red side of the trade so only the red so this area when the stock started going going up here when the stock started going up here I don't trade trade those I don't trade that um, the only part that I trade is the bottom part here. Um, and that's what I did in the morning. I traded this area. This was the first area that I traded that I made the most money on. I think I probably made like $200 on it. And then I traded around this area, then around here. Then I was pretty much done for the day. I, I remember I didn't trade this. Um, yeah, I think I traded this as well. Um, yeah, I traded that part as well. But let me look at that. Let me look at this this uh, particular trade here. This was around four and 12, 12, 12, 50, 12, 57. Yeah, I already explained that actually. Around twelve fifty seven here. So I, yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember that one. So I thought. Let me see. I can adjust this here. Okay. Anyways, I thought I thought this right here because the signal came up, all the indicators started pointing upwards, big volume here, signal came on, then I jumped here, I jumped on the trade here, started pushing up a, a little bit, and then and then right here it reversed, it reversed on me, so I ended up taking the L, taking the L here and closing the trade with this candle. Um, so. You, like I said, usually I don't take the green the green trades um, when it's below below VWAP right here. When it's below VWAP, I don't take the green trades. I only take the the red part of the trade, like like this this area. So so um for those of you that are new, if you're watching this video for the first time, I urge you to go back and look at my TD Ameritrade uh, playlist. I have a video where I explain this the tr exact chart that I'm using. I've explained every single thing all the way from the first step till till now, and I'm still doing videos on it because um, I want to bring everything that I know. I want to bring everything to you guys so you guys can I can learn from you know some of some of my mistakes, so and you can learn from some of my wins as well. As, you know, this is a community where we learn and grow and trying to grow our money in any way possible. You know, through trading, through dividend investing, through through any way, anyhow you can grow your money so you can invest for the long term. This is what I'm about. This channel is about getting people to their first million dollars. That's why that's the challenge I've set for myself to have my first million dollars in dividend investing. And trading is just a side hustle, and hopefully it will be a full time job for me. Um, that I can be doing this full time and be able to make money full time and create more content for you guys. So if you if you find value in what I do here, please take a moment, give this video a like, share this video with other people if you think they can they can learn from it, um, and just subscribe as well. Subscribe, stick around. Um, I have a lot to share. I have a lot to share with everybody. So please stick around. And uh, yeah, I think I am going to wrap it up. With this video, I think I've explained all the things that I want to explain to you guys. Um, I've we've talked about the big trades. Uh, we've talked about some other little trades. But here, here are some of the trades that I made made today, and uh, we ended up we ended up on a on a positive note. It was it was a positive day. Uh, two hundred and two hundred thirty two hundred thirty nine dollars. 
I mean, for some people, it's a lot of money. For some people, it's not a lot of money. But for me, my goal is to grow my net worth over time, whether through trading, whether through dividend, anywhere that the money will come in, I, I'm going to trade it. So I'm going to, you know, do whatever I have to do to get to a million dollars legally. Of course, I don't want to go to jail. Uh, I don't advocate any, any illegal things here, only legal stuff. But yeah, so please take a moment to subscribe, stick around. I have a lot to share. Um, yeah, until next time, see you later. Bye. Thank you.